Hi guys, welcome to No Math. My name is Sir Bench Antonio. In this video, we will discuss Venn diagram. And this lesson is intended for high school mathematics, especially for grade 7 students. And if you are not yet subscribed on my channel, please hit like and subscribe for more of my videos. Before we discuss the Venn diagram, let us review what set is. A set is any collection of objects, a well-defined objects to be exact. The objects contained in a set are called elements. For example, the set A has the elements of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Sets can be described using a Venn diagram. As for our example set A, this is its illustration using the Venn diagram that all of the elements of set A is in the circle A. A Venn diagram or a set diagram is a diagram that shows all possible logical relations between a finite collection of sets. It uses circles to show their relationships. On our illustration, it shows the relationship of set A and a set B. To understand a Venn diagram, first, the universal set should be known. Now, every set is the subset of the universal set U. This means that every other set will be inside the rectangle which represent the universal set. Example, given the Venn diagram, show a universal set. Enable for us to represent a set in a Venn diagram, we need to shade a part of the Venn diagram showing the given set. Since that we need to show the universal set, we will go into shade all of the part of the illustration. So meaning the universal set has the elements of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, up to the greatest number that we can see on the universal set, which is 14. So these are all the elements of the given universal set. How about set A? To show set A using the Venn diagram, we need to get all of the elements inside the circle A. And that, we just need to shade the circle A. Therefore, the elements of set A are 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, 11, and 14. These are all the elements belongs to set A. And how about set B? We also have here a circle B, that every element in circle B belongs to set B. Therefore, we need to shade the circle B only for us to get the elements of set B. Then, we have here a set B that has the elements of, starts with 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 13, and 14. So these are the elements that belongs to set B. The representation of different operations can also be shown on Venn diagram. Example, given the Venn diagram again, show the following. Number one, complement of set A. Note that the symbol of our complement is a small c as our exponent. So for us to show the complement of set A using the Venn diagram, take note that complement of set A are all the elements belong to the universal set but not on a set A. So we will go into shades all of the elements that is not belong to the set A. Therefore, the complement of set A, the elements are we have 4, 5, 7, 10, 
12, and 13. So these are all the elements of complement of set A. How about the complement of set B? Again, to show it using the Venn diagram, complement of set B are all the elements in the universal set that is not belong to set B. Therefore, we were going to shade the elements which are not belong to set B. So the elements are, we have 1, 2, 7, 8, 10, 11, and 12. So these are the elements of the complement of set B. How about the operation of a union of a set? We need to get A union B or the union of sets a, set A and set B. So for us to get the union of set A and set B, we need to combine the elements that is on the circle A and the elements that is on the circle B. So therefore, the shaded part would be there. So the elements of A union B are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 11, 13, and 14. So these are all the elements for the A union B. How about A intersect B? Take note that if we're going to get the elements of the intersection of sets, we just need to get the elements that they have the same in both sets. So if we're going to understand the Venn diagram, we have here a set A that intersect with set B and there are elements on that intersection and those are for the shaded part of the Venn diagram that would be looks like this. So we have A intersect B and the elements are we have 3, 6, 9, and 14. And that is the intersection of the circle, circle A and the circle B. How about the difference of sets A and B? So we read it as A difference B. So meaning from the given elements of A, which is on the circle A, we will just subtract all of the elements from the circle B. So if we're going to shade circle A, that is subtracted the elements of circle B, then the shade would go like this. Therefore, the elements of A difference B are 1, 2, 8, and 11 only. How about B difference A? So the same thing that we did with A difference B, on the circle B, we just need to subtract all of the elements that belongs to circle A. So therefore, if we're going to shade and represent using the Venn diagram, we just need to shade uh, the elements that is belong only on set B, but not on circle A. Therefore, B difference A has the elements of 4, 5, and 13. Relationships of three sets can also be represented using Venn diagram. Example, given the Venn diagram on the side, we have here now three sets. And as a representation of set on a Venn diagram, we have 
three circles, the circle A, a circle B, and a circle C. So all of the elements inside the circle A, circle A are belongs to the set A. And all of the elements in a circle B are belong to set B. And so as the elements that in a circle C are belong to set C. First, let us show A union C or the union of sets A and C. So we have here now the union of set A and set C. All of the elements inside the circle A and all of the elements inside the circle C. Therefore, A union C is equal to, or the elements are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, we also have 9, 13, I sorry, 11, 14, and 15. So these are all the elements for A union C. How about A union B union C and its complement? Or we can read it as complement of the sets A, B, and C. We all know that if we're going to get the union of the three sets, we will be having like this. But since we are looking for complement of the union of the three sets, so we're going to get the elements that belongs to the universal set but not on the set. A, B, and C. So those are its complement. So we have now A union B union C and its complements. And the elements are 7, 10, and 12 only. How about number 3? A union B intersects C. So we're going to get first the union of A and B. So that is the union of A and B. But we only need to get the elements that intersect with C or set C. And those are 11, 14, and 5. So therefore, A union B that intersect with set C has only elements of 5, 11, and 14 in ascending order. And those are for the Venn diagram. And I have this math challenge for you. Given the Venn diagram or using the Venn diagram on the side, let us determine the elements of A union C intersect B and its complement. So if you know the answer, guys, just comment down below and I'll be happy to assist you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are not just subscribed on my channel, please do not forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you.